Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro. Uh, Star Genesis is a project that I started uh, as a musical project. It's not yet a band. Uh, I started this project um, in 2021. Uh, I wrote my own music. Uh, I had several uh, uh, drafts, let's say that, uh, that I wrote. And then I called uh, my friend, is uh, Valeriano De Zordo, is a singer from Arctic and Arditian. Uh, he started to uh, collaborate with me with this project and we decided to uh, release the first album in uh, i think june uh, july 4 july 21 uh, the name of uh, the first album is aurora and now we are we are uh, we wrote uh, also the second album and uh, we are about to release the second album in 16 january uh, January 16, yes, of this year, and uh, we are also writing the third album, actually, in this moment. can say that uh, where we can start we can start from the um, um, the second album is uh, uh, an album about the earth the, about this planet and um, I can tell you that it starts with a dramatic dramatic intro that describes the sit um, with the sounds and with the special effects it describes the situations um, of the earth a, a, a sci-fi situation on earth scientific uh, science fiction situation because I, I wrote this track with an intro that says that uh, there is a pandemic in which uh, People are cannibalistic tendencies, have cannibalistic tendencies, but it's a sci-fi thing, you know. So um, this is a dramatic intro and a dramatic um, song. It's uh, Welcome to Earth, the first song. Then it continues with several uh, themes like uh, AI, like uh, the abuse of drugs, um, TV, TV propaganda, um, and uh, also a, a song written by Valeriano De Zordo, which, by the way, is, uh, I, I want to remember that he's a fantastic singer with uh, very special skills in his voice. Um, then the song continues uh, growing up in uh, a new hope. Um, and the dream of a new era that is the track which we made a video for uh, you can find this track on uh, youtube um, then it continues con with uh, another track that is checkmate which is a track which um it it is about nations plotting nations uh trying to figure out what is the trend of the other nations what is the plan of the enemies? Each nation is fighting each other or trying to understand what the other nation is doing or thinking or what is going on. And basically this is a, um, a way to describe uh, the, the political situation in the world world. So it's like a very big uh, chess game. And uh, we are going to to end uh, inevitably uh, with a checkmate. 
And then I don't want to spoil anything about the end uh, of this second album, but I can say that the final tracks, the two final tracks uh, of this album are connected to the first album. So it is a, a sort of connection with the universe of the first album. I can say that. So, uh, what was the question? <laughs> um, my, my main uh, influences, my main uh, inspiration, um, I think, is Dream Theater. Dream Theater is the main, um, the main band that I listen to, that I listen on on the car, on the phone, and then I can say uh, Pink Floyd. Yes, mm. Evanescence, uh, Linkin Park, uh, Porcupine Tree, Iron Maiden, um, Metallica, absolutely, Metallica, um, and uh, many more, many more, I can say. Um, Opeth, uh, this is our, my, main influences on my composition. I start to, um, how does a song start on my project, on my albums? Uh, I start to write uh, songs by playing my guitar. Uh, I record a particular riff uh, um, on the dove and I try to figure out uh, a chorus, a bridge, um, let's say, um, let's say that I want, I, I have something in mind and I want to record uh, with the guitar, I start to record and then maybe I have uh, another piece of, I don't know, maybe keyboard, I have something in mind with the keyboard and I add it to the composition. Then I add the drum in me the first and then when the song is completed i go to the studio to record it but uh, first instrumental and then the lyrics i usually adapt the lyrics to the instrumental parts because the music the instrumental part of the music is the part that uh, expressed mm, the main feel of the song i think this is my opinion my personal opinion and then if i talk about flowers doing a trash metal song maybe it doesn't fit maybe it fits uh, who knows but for me the main thing is uh, follow the vibe of the song um, do you want to hear anything else about <laughs> Usually, I start the, the first album was written all in Italian because the project was uh, originally was an Italian project. Then uh, Valeriano De Zordo, uh, the singer of the project, uh, suggested to do an um, English version of the first album. So we decided to uh, basically release the first album. In a, with an English version. He um, basically translated all the lyrics from Italian to English for the first album and singled everything. So I want to thank him for uh, this uh, big job that he made. Uh, for the second album, I decided to um, write the lyrics uh, straight from my mind in English. So basically, I think in English, I think the English lyrics, and then I wrote, I write the lyrics. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it, ha it happens that um, I don't have the translation um, straight away, so uh, I write the Italian concepts, the Italian lyrics, I write the text, 
then I find a suitable translation for in order to sound in, or, in order to get a good uh, rhyme, a good sound of the vocal line. This is the main point. I want to say also one thing about uh, the project and the um, artistic composition about uh, Star Genesis. Valeriano de Zordo is my main collaboration. Uh, my, my, is my man, is my big friend. Um, I want to say this because without his collaboration, I think Star Genesis wouldn't exist. Valeriano is a very good person. Uh, I find this along the way on the composition of uh, Aurora, on the composition of Distress Call from Earth. And uh, I would like that uh, I will uh, uh, hang him with me uh, on all on the way. I hope our, our friendship will continue for a long time. Basically, uh, my main live experience is um, I, I made my experience with, um, as a drummer, my main experience is with Phoenix Rage, with, uh, which is um, my old band. Uh, it is a heavy metal, uh, classic heavy metal band, like, um, let's say, Iron Maiden, let's say, just to to focalize the genre. And um, during live, uh, I always feel the public, um, the people that uh, the audience near, um, because I always have a good feeling about doing live and uh, seeing people uh, like, uh, you know, headbanging or uh, dancing or, singing and uh, it has been always a good experience to a nice experience to to play live with uh, my old band and i think it is the best thing uh, an artist can do um, playing live communicating the the songs to the audience and then the audience uh, claps the hand or uh, whatever uh, it gives you back uh, your pay. Say hi to all my friends, uh, obviously, or followers, Valeriano de Zordo, who is my, my friend and my uh, collaborator on this project, uh, Daniele Ferretto from uh, Dead Ferro Audio Project Studio. Um, my wife and uh, my daughter, uh, without them, I couldn't start this project. It's the quality that builds up human abilities. Don't stop paying for the Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro.